Um, so, really quick, who we are. We're at B Studios, we're a panel studio um, in Southeast Michigan. Um, how many of you have been to any of our panels before? Probably not very many of you because we live in Michigan. <laughs> yeah, it's one of you. I like it. But anyway, we totally changed this panel, so it really doesn't matter much for any of you. Um, but, uh, getting started, just a quick note, there might be some spoilers. I wrote the panel so there isn't going to be many, but if it comes to a discussion where I think we might get into a spoiler heavy topic, I will give you a warning, um, because I know some of you aren't caught up to the end of Act 7. Um, most of the panel will end discuss up to the end of Act 6, but I'm trying to keep that last Act 7 thing so you guys can watch that on your own. It's been out for a couple months now, but still, uh, I will try to warn you of major spoilers for the end of Home Stuff, because unfortunately, it is. So, uh, who can summarize Homestuck in four words? <laughs> Every character died. <laughs> Crazy. Stupid. <laughs> death. death and destruction. <laughs> I mean, accurate. Uh, over there. Very gay death trash. Yes! <laughs>
Um, Postdoc was put like serially at first, so it's kind of irregular updates over the course of each day. Some days we would see two or three updates happening at once. I know that you newbies and the homestuck band aren't used to that, but if you were in it for a while, it's like you have to update every day. So like this end couple of years of homestuck sucked. Like the rest of you are like, oh, how's the updates never? But then if you were in it beforehand, you're like, this wasn't how it always was. Um, so the time period that he was going to take to finish the story was called the Gate of Oz. And that would happen in 2013. Hussey explained that he wanted to have the ability to tell the remainder of the story in a non-linear fashion by writing and illustrating the storyline and then revising the, chron the chronology. Um, on October 16th, 2013, that's when the Gigapod started, and uh, it ended on September 27th, 2014. Uh, was when he said it was going to end, and then October 16th, 2014, it's on Gigapod's, and then the servers crashed because we all wrote the website. <laughs> required him to literally rebuild the website's engine, like to handle the traffic that we kept giving it, which is insane. Um, so on January 19, 2015, Hussey announced another pause, which lasted until April 13th of 2015, and then he humorously offered what he called the mini mega pause, the mega pause 2 back in the mega saddle, and the micro terra pause as possible titles for this next pause. And that started on August 12th, 2015, he officially called it the Omega pause, and said, it'll be done when it's done. For what it, when that is, I don't have any concrete projections. Maybe it will drop sometime next year. I guess we'll wait and see. On April 13th, 2016, exactly seven years after Homestuck began, Hussey released the final updated web comic, a nine minute long anime style short called S Act 7, that concluded the story, but Hussey said there may be an epilogue in the future. So if you go to AmishPageAdventures.com and you see a human boy, do not be alarmed. You are in fact reading the right comic. <laughs> the iconic troll characters, so this whole gray skin candy corn thing, um, the ones pictured like on the slide here, um, they do not fully appear until Act 5 of the comic, which is about like just under a third of the actual comic's length. Um, you really shouldn't skip the early acts of the comic to get to the trolls. While I know the trolls are awesome guys, uh, there's some big plot points that happened early in Act 1. Ones, two, three, and four that will really confuse you if you just skip to Act 5. Oh, come on. <laughs> Cooperate with us here. Yay. Yay. Are you sure yes. you can use the right comic? Because <laughs> yeah. I know when I got into Homestuck, I got into it via uh, Broadway stuff, so it was all very angsty and sad music and stuff. And then I started reading the comic that I got for this panel, and I texted my friend, and I'm like, are you sure this is the right comic? And she went on MS Paint Adventures website to make sure I wasn't reading Jailbreak or something, and she was like, yeah, you're reading the right comic. I'm like, what? Oh. Thank you, that guy. We don't know what's happening with it, but don't like us, that's for sure. Oh, and there goes. my favorite. Um, so part of what makes the Homestuck charming for so many long-term fans is the fact that its humor is kind of insane. Um, don't let it scare you away. Homestuck was based on like the traditional adventure games, like point click style games. And Hussey's always kind of had this really bizarre sense of humor. Um, Homestuck's more than just the sad stuff you see on Tumblr, and it's more than the angsty fan art every role play group that exists on Facebook. Um, Homestuck is at its core a comedy. It's a tragic comedy, yes, but a comedy. John's able to retcon an entire timeline by sticking his hand in the places where it doesn't belong. Um, Hussey himself becomes a character within his own comic in order to progress the story. So besides being really meta, it's very weird. Um, so I'm gonna ask you guys, what other weird, quirky bits of Homestuck's humor do you think summarize what Homestuck is? I saw the tablets in the back. Yeah. All of the horses. And the horse calendars, don't forget those. Yes. Over there, what do you have? Yes. The Batter Witch. 
So we brought it back. Wow. Legit and was removed. Um, 
But, so you may remember that originally when the game was to come out, uh, that the odd gentleman was supposed to develop the game.